Today we're going to be testing out Mark's uh, Striker 955 HPC. We just installed the AC Mod 3 on it. And we're just about to run some quick tests to uh, show the difference uh, between processing and using the non processed audio out of the hand mic. We're going to be recording here on the PC, running the line in from the, uh, the Drake R8 receiver. We're going to be monitoring the modulation on both the uh, Textronics oscilloscope and here on the uh, LaCroix. Uh, up there, as you can see, we have the actual audio that's going to be fed into the radio. Underneath that is going to be the spectrum analyzer. Underneath that is the modulation envelope. And at the very bottom is a zoom of that red portion of the modulation envelope. And here we just have the spectrum analyzer set at our frequency, 27205. All right, we'll begin. As you can see, uh, we have the uh, the PTT, the, the mouse PTT connected, and we also have a standard Cobra hand mic connected to the front panel. Then in the rear, we have the line end connector, which is this one here, semi-unplugged. So the actual uh, front uh, jack is enabled and we'll be able to use the front mic jack. I'm going to go ahead and start recording now here on the PC. And this audio will mix it in with this live uh, video uh, at the end. So first we're going to go ahead and, uh, and, and show you. We're going to go to Pro Tools and we're going to put the uh, signal generator. That's our signal generator there, and we're gonna we're running about 540 hertz. We're gonna run the signal generator audio. We're gonna plug in the audio in, and uh, we're gonna make sure we're on AM, which we are. We have the carrier set for a two watt dead key. Uh, doesn't focus correctly, but. Is a two watt dead key, okay, and um, that gives us our two divisions as a reference point to measure the modulation envelope, as well as we can see here. It's two divisions, okay. And there's our carrier center frequency. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, modulate the carrier with that 550 hertz tone at the moment. We're going to set that up. We're going to key up the radio. We're going to increase the frequency on the frequency generator just a little bit. So that we can see more of the envelope. So you can see that's about 200% modulation right there. We have it set at 200% modulation. Just a little bit more. About 250 there. No pinching, no clipping. Now we're going to go ahead and take off the uh, signal generator. And we're going to unplug our line in so we're using the front hand mic and we're going to modulate on the microphone at a regular distance normal tone of voice audio one two one two three four audio one two this is a regular hand mic uh, with the uh, SR955 uh, we're recording this on the PC as we do this now we're going to switch over to the uh, Electro Voice RE20 running the Pro Tools. Okay, so now um, we're going to go ahead and plug this plug in, the audio line in, and now we're going to be talking out of the RE20. Still, same setup. We're still recording. Computer still recording. So now we're going to key up audio one. Uh, Got to open up the Pro Tools here. Let's see. There we go. 
we had that uh, we had to check that and so now we're gonna have our carrier our two our carrier and when we modulate we see we're doing well over 250 percent modulation audio one two hello audio audio one two three four our standard audio is on the top uh, as you can see the spectrum analyzer um, the sidebands being modulated then your whole envelope at the bottom and then the uh, zoomed in envelope at the very bottom and as you can see there's a difference in the audio it's a lot more much more um, compressed and dynamic and uh, uh, as you can see your, your average power stays around uh, 20 25 watts uh, when modulating even if you talk low or loud so there you have it, the difference uh, between uh, processed audio and non-processed audio uh, using the ACMOD 3S. This is the new model of the uh, ACMOD right there. All right, we'll do a little test now on sideband so you can see the difference uh, on sideband. And now we'll switch over to ESSB. We'll begin by unplugging our rear line-in connector. <clears throat> and uh, we'll switch over to upper sideband. As you can see, when we switch modes, the AC mod comes on when it's on AM. And when you go to sideband, the peak indicator, when it comes on solid, indicates that uh, we're on sideband. Well, now we'll first uh, test out our modulation on uh, upper sideband. We have the Drake R8 receiver set to uh, 6 kilohertz wideband receive on the filter settings and upper sideband. Um, we'll begin by modulating with the stock hand mic. Uh, we can either use the stock hand mic uh, for PTT when we use the process audio later on or the um, or the rear mouse PTT all right so let's start here audio one two three four hello audio this is the stock Cobra hand mic with the striker SR 955 on sideband and uh, we can see here we got peaks of about 50 55 watts uh, on sideband and uh, that's how it was requested by Mark, as he wants to do some uh, some skip using sideband. So here we see our modulation envelope uh, on sideband, and everything looks good. You can hear how it sounds like we're recording simultaneously on the computer. And now we're going to switch over uh, to the process audio using the uh, EV RE20 microphone. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So now uh, we're going to plug in the rear line-in connector. There we go. Now the front mic jack has been disabled. The microphone, the hand mic can be used as a PTT or your mouse. Okay. So we'll see now the difference in audio. Okay. Now we're transmitting using the same setup, but... Uh now we're running the um, process audio with the uh, ElectroVoice RE20. There's your modulation envelope. And here, as you can see, uh, we have the uh, power going out. As you can see, it's very stable. Uh, as, a comp as a compressed audio is very, um, uh, maintains our level of audio at the same level. So we're, we're, we're concentrating all of our power um, uh, at the maximum. Anyways, there you have it. That is the difference in sound. Uh, it is a, a significant difference. Uh, the audio is much more compressed and much more dynamic uh, with the processed audio. And uh, a lot of people wanted to hear what it actually sounds like with a, with a regular voice, not a computer-generated voice. And uh, that's what we're running right there. Pro Tools, as you can see, uh, modulation there on the oscilloscope. That's what it sounds like on the recording coming out of the Drake R8 receiver using this uh, 
Striker SR955, which is, uh, uh, has been set up for ESSB. Okay, so that's what it sounds like on sideband. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give it a last try there on AM, and uh, we'll finish off the video. So now, we'll switch over back to AM on the radio. We'll come here and we'll switch back over to AM on the receiver. There we go. We're still at 6 kilohertz. And when we key down. So there you see our uh, two division reference carrier. And their modulation peaks up to about 250% modulation. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4. So there you have it. The AC Mod 3S. Uh, in combination with uh, uh, Pro Tools and uh, the RE20. And uh, we're running the Striker SR955. And we're live recording this on the computer as we speak. And as you can see, we have the two wide dead key peaking to about uh, 20, 23 watts, give or take, which puts us at about 230% modulation. Audio one, two, three, four. There you go. For those of you who wanted to hear the AC mod um, with a real human voice, uh, they were tired of listening to computer-generated videos, so there you have it. The AC Mod 3S. Catch you guys on the next video.